In this module, we would be studying a structure which is an extension of the structure we discussed in the previous module. This structure along with the previous structure, as I previously mentioned, has been taken from a research paper which has been recently published in 2019 by three very able researchers in Islamic finance. Now, this structure has been used to promote sustainable development goals of the United Nations. And here, this is done with the help of a Salam structure. I like the previous structure. I would like to call this as a reverse Salam, parallel Salam structure combined with Wakala. It involves a few steps and we would go through those steps one by one. United Nations or United Nations Development Program or any of the subsidiaries of UN, UN enters into a Wakala agreement with its daughter organizations in each country. For instance, United Nations Farmers Cooperative Malaysia. So this is one example. So this structure actually involves operations in a number of countries. Why this structure is being proposed as an improvement over the previous structure? Because some people may say that United Nations would not like to do this kind of activities by its own. Rather, it would like to appoint certain organizations in different countries. These are known as sister organizations or daughter organizations of United Nations. So the first step is this Wakala agreement signed between the mother organization and the daughter organization. The daughter organization enters into a Salam contract with the farmers cooperatives. So from here, actually, the structure is almost the same as we discussed in the previous module. The daughter organization makes full payment in advance to farmers' cooperatives. And the daughter organization enters into a parallel Salam contract with a businessman or middleman. Businessman pays the down payment as a promise to buy the product. Farmers' cooperative delivers the products to UN daughter organizations on the agreed date to ensure that the contract is valid, all the terms and conditions, they are vetted by a, a, a competent Sharia advisory organization or Sharia advisory committee. The UN delivers the goods to the businesses following the same conditions of subject matter as described in the previous step. And of course, United Nations pays Wakala fee to its daughter organization. Let us look into it with the help of a diagram. This diagram, which looks quite complicated, United Nations is uh, on top of the, the picture. And then we have uh, two UN partners in country A and country B. So when we look at this structure, it is actually a replica of the previous structure which we discussed in the last module. There, we discussed only this thing. And of course, this is a replica of this one as well. So we have these Salam structures used in different countries. There are businessmen or there are businesses in different countries they would like to procure commodities from various countries. With this kind of structure, whereby we have this Salem-based structures in different parts of the world, in this picture, we are showing only two countries, but it could be 10 countries, it could be 15 countries, it could become 
a global Salem platform. Remember, in one of the previous modules, we mentioned a structure which was proposed for Afghanistan. So that is, that was a national commodity platform. This can become a global commodity platform supported by an organization like United Nations or United Nations Development Program. Actually, if ITFC, Islamic Trade Finance Corporation, a subsidiary of Islamic Development Bank, if it adopts this model for promoting trade and for promoting fair prices in the member countries of the OIC and Islamic Development Bank, this would be a very good step.